Hi everybody, Chuck Malone with JK Realty uh, coming to you from uh, East Mark out here in East Mesa, Arizona. We have a client out here in a Taylor Morrison home. If you want to catch the East Mark location there, that's uh, the sign coming in on Ray Road. We just came off the 24. <laughs> Move car. Way to go, Whitten Plumbing. Look at the free advertising. <laughs> well, you can see it's East Mark. You know where we're at. Beautiful. Look at the mountains. You got Superstition Mountains out there. And things are really popping out here in East Mark. Um, I've put po uh, folks in the Encore area of East Mark. That's an adult 55 and above. If you know anybody that's looking for a home in the 55 and above category. Uh, the East Mark Encore neighborhood is really a great place. And uh, my buyers have been very happy. And then, uh, so what we've got today is uh, we have a client that registered me with Taylor Morrison. And we went in, wrote the contract. We went to the design center, got all the extras uh, added to. And then now we're in that hold for the building permit to be issued. And we just left the uh, sales office and they said it will be sometime in next week. So we're excited about that. This is the Taylor Morrison home. And the subdivision uh, is, it's the uh, Venture 2 collection by Taylor Morrison. Really nice models. And so we're going to go over and see if we can find the lot. we looking at it on the, on the sales table and then actually going to find it. We're a little premature. They're not encouraging traffic because they're still building the roads. But they are going to start homes before all the roads are in. So Hopefully we can get far enough in to at least give you a sense of what's going on and kind of what the procedure is. I always surprise the sales agent when I walk in and I'm involved in the process. They, I don't know that they particularly encourage non-owners involvement, but they tolerate me. And so I, I come in and I've got my hard hat and I've Oftentimes, uh, we'll be right there with the workers asking them questions, and I usually like to get to know the superintendent. So this is the first one, Brittany, yeah. and then so the second, the second, I believe, is the one we want to... And it's the blacktop, so it's good. been blacktopped. Yeah. And we're going over here, beautiful area. I love it. It's uh, very open. A lot more coming to East Mark. Many different builders. Just kind of choose your poison. I've been to about every sales office out here. So we'll see how far we can go before we get into trouble. <laughs> get asked to leave. <laughs> Let's hope they don't. If so, you'll be the first to know as you're tagging along with Chuck and the life of a realtor on this wacky Wednesday. So, uh, that doesn't look exactly, I wonder if that's, uh, let's see. Well, this looks like the gated community part, the gate. Okay, they're um, gonna these have. are the gates. Yep. And so, but there's this big dealy here. So we're going to Trillium. Oh, so they've got more, they've got more going on here. Oh. So, but that doesn't. Uh, you want to take I'll hold that. Yeah. Yep. Live broadcast, folks, so you can <laughs> tell that uh, we're still in the. So yeah, that's right here. Okay, so that's that one. Mm -hmm. So we want to go to 51, which would be over here then, right there. So we would want to. So we're on. 
trillium. Is this? They don't have the signs up yet. Signs. Oh, there's but, a sign. But I'm assuming right that that's this right here. Okay. Right. Yeah, that must be. Yep. Well, it would be like this. You know, it would be like this. Yeah. So it would have so to be, would be on, over way. down this side. But there's three that's what I, see that's there. what I'm saying. So here's yeah. East Mark Parkway. Here's the the manor coming in. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be right there. Mm -hmm. It's not. So obviously. Let's see what that sign. Let's go see what the lot markings are. Oh yeah. Down that here a little good. bit further. Well, maybe, maybe. Archer, something like this. Well, we'll try this. Well, they do have this yeah. sign. Let's see if we're on Trillium. Oh. Yep, we are. Okay, and there's Archer. Markings. Well, we'll just kind of go and take some take some pictures. But anyway, this will this will suffice. I'm sure this is the one here. Just or it could be that one over there. It could be well, but we're off Trillium, right? Yeah. So it's on Trillium. So mm -hmm. it has to be it has to be this one. Now, what do you think? That he did say the second one in, and that's the second one. Mm -hmm. So let's go. We'll just take a couple of photos. Okay. You got that on? Looking at the this little sales sheet here, almost slip quick and fast enough, Chuck. Trying to find Archer. I don't see Archer anywhere. I see I see Trillium and I see Thornton. And so theoretically, this would have to have. See, so I don't think this is it as much as I would like to say that I, that it is. Now, what about on the other side? Mm -hmm. I'll bet you that's it. Yeah, you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, see, that's Richmond American over here. That's what, Richard? Richmond that's American, what? so I don't know if this is different. Yeah, because this doesn't match. Yeah. All right, folks, we're still, we're still in the, race. she said they did, she didn't think they could get back there. Uh-huh. But this is Trillium. Well, this so. is Trillium, South Manor. South Manor is the street. I don't see. Well, we'll just drive up here. Okay. just kind of use this as a uh, learning experience and um, on wacky Wednesday we wouldn't expect it to be easy but we're out here where we love to be and amongst the hopefully the nails will stay on the road and not in my tires as we go through these these um, framing homes that are being framed so this is a Richmond American 
project here. We're looking for Manor. So we'll go up here a little bit further and see if we can find Manor. And if we can't, then we will beg off of Facebook Live for the moment, and then we'll go find it and not waste these good folks' time. Doesn't look like that's Manor. No. So we'll break off for the time being, then we'll notify you once we've found it. But anyway, it's, it's again, just part of the process, part of the service of, um, of what we do for our, I'll bet you that's, I'll bet you that's where it is, mm -hmm. Brittany. Look, that, yeah. I, that, that makes sense. Yeah, because Wild Rose is yep. right here. Yep, okay, so. I, we found it. So let's go and we'll just walk over there and because um, they've got a, a heavy equipment on it and stuff that even makes it more fun <laughs> so, I'm trying to... well okay so we'll um we'll go over there i'm pretty sure that that's got to be it you want to take the map yeah let's take the map i mean if it's any good to us yeah If we fall in a ditch, Facebook, then you know where we're at. <laughs> Come find us. <laughs> we're, on the, we're on the road here. Now this, now this makes a lot more sense. Yeah, but if you look at the paper, Wild Rose and Trillion don't meet. Doesn't even matter. I mean, I'm... I'm pretty sure this is yeah. Manor coming in. Okay. Well, that, that paper cut off too, so it could have. I don't know. So this is north, and they have that north. And that's that's the way we're facing. Okay. Is north. So this would put. See, this makes a lot more sense because you've got that green area right there. Mm -hmm. You've got this road coming in as Manor. Yep. And there's the second lot. So we'll just kind of walk through here. What we don't do for our clients is get on the job. of all this heavy equipment. These guys are so awesome. I know. I'd love to drive one of these trucks. Maybe. Maybe you know not. You I used to drive a Pepsi truck, don't you? Down <laughs> in the streets of Phoenix. Going to ASU. That was kind of my summer job. Yep, okay. And that's them. All right. So much of the world. Good, huh? Yeah. See, I know my way around. You did it. I did it. I did it. So, um, I'm excited to know that the 
farmers are using their lot as a staging area. <laughs> <laughs> they even have their own little drive approach. Look at yeah. that. I mean, who Pretty else cool. in the whole wide world has their own drive approach <laughs> into their, right into their home? This is awesome. See, folks, this is what is meant by going to the extra mile for your client. That's what we do here at Chuckle Big Game Realty. The caterpillar is going to get us. <laughs> hey, look, there's traction going to come in here. They even have their uh, transmission line on the other lot. They have a little bit of it here, but. And they have looks like a box on the uh, on the lot next to them. So let's go on the lot. Since I have my hard hat on, I can do this. Uh, what about your trusty photographer over here? <laughs> <laughs> <He's in trouble. laughs> I've lost the photographer. <laughs> and they build these pads up so this will be there there'll be two there'll be two houses on here one one house here and they've got the street they build them so they they call these pads and they build these pads up so we're on number two so it looks like he's got some elevation next so you got one lot there and one lot here there's actually supposed to be four lots in this area so his lot goes over to where that from that stake there to that stake there looks like that's his lot that would be one two three four just kind of take a picture of some of the folks doing work folks that have the ability to build homes and build roadways, really a gift to have that understanding of engineering, how that works. Okay, now here's, yep, here's the other pad. You can see how it's raised again. Then the next pad over is raised a little bit. So looks like they have all the, the land sloping down this way so as far as drainage goes and so each of the properties will drain down down into the streets and out to the to the uh, retens, retention uh, basins this is the part that uh, we used to do when I was a partner with Old West Homes many years ago and we would develop our own land put our own subdivisions in and we would go through this process my job was not only to market the homes and run the sales, but also to oversee the development and assist in the land buying and all of that. It was a great, great 10 year run. So here we are, and this is really about it's what it is. I mean, this is what we do. We try to give the homeowner the very best of uh, what we have to offer in the way of experience and, and uh, coming out. Uh, of course, you can go into a sales office and buy a home on your own, and, and uh, frankly, the majority of people do that. And I just wonder why. I mean, if you could have me tagging along, if you could have me on the ground, feet on the ground, and uh, knowing the, your salespeople, knowing your construction superintendent, and helping you along the way, avoiding... Uh, because oftentimes you'll look at the construction, you won't know that there's things that are not up to standard. And it may be up to code, but it may not be up to your standard. And, and it could be made better. And so I, I like to help by being involved. And not to get anybody's way, but merely be a good value, both to you and to the construction people, because they want it to be the very best they can be as well. So 
and we all work together to make it good. So I'm, again, they hire me, you don't, but I work for you, and I would love to work for you. So give me a call, give me an opportunity to serve you too. Chuck Malone with JK Realty.